Hello everyone, what is going on? Spirit Wolf here, welcome along to the channel. Good evening to you all and welcome along to Hogwarts Legacy Playthrough Part 6. I uh, know, sorry, Part 7. Part 7. So, um, in the last episode we finished up doing some main missions and we picked up a load of side quests. And in today's uh, uh, episode we are going to be focusing on our two main missions. Uh, the first one is we got to go to uh, her the class and then we gotta go and meet uh natty i think uh for her quest line um i have picked up some new st uh stuff for from side missions so we will just go over here so my health is on 475 defense is on 45 and offense is on 60 and as you can see here i picked up some uh, brand new gloves some glasses um new hat a scarf and some cloaks and a new overalls so let's crack on with the gameplay let's go <clears throat> good morning professor garlic how wonderful it is to see you again lenora dear oh here You'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, A little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. Yeah, that looks so How cool. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The prudent herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake root. Accio. Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. Hmm. It's gone silent. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! Yeah. I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right, then. Off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now, okay. Our next task will be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knotgrass. I enjoy my weekly visits to Dogweed and Deathcap. I'm sure you do. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. I enjoyed it. I nearly went deaf. I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Okay. Yes, how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Niffler's fancy, 
or roses. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital planting table unlocked. As you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay, so now we got plant uh titney seeds and they take ten minutes to grow. <clears throat> Alrighty. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your Dittany will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Yeah. Alrighty. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But you'll lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts, by the way. Excuse me? Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Here we are. Home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Chomping cabbage. Go on. Grab a few of those cabbages. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it. And they'll do the rest. Okay, how do I toss the cabbage? Uh, how do I toss the cabbage? Oops. Hold L1. Ah, okay. So we want cabbage. And then toss. Look at that. I don't think anything they can get their uh, mouths on. Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Ah. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. Um, I'm suppose they could come in handy, sure, but that's just a dummy. I was imagining imagining it already. They actually they could come in handy for a fight. I yeah. suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Alrighty. I'll see you back in class. Oh, I was going to pick him up. Can we pick up any of these cabbages to keep for ourselves? Yes, we can. I'm taking all of them. That'd be us sorted for when we come into a fight. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing else here we should know. Aha, scroll. Fired it. Alright, let's return back to the uh, professor. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Noob. reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves i shall end our lesson here terribly sorry mr i tended to the chinese chomping <coughs> cabbages professor remarkable plants aren't they i hope they weren't too much trouble oh don't see any bite marks or missing digits and good as you do seem to be quite green fingered oh i'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom as i 
as am I. Plants offer so much. Don't care much for plants, honestly. Um, I mean, seamless cabbage will come in handy for fights and stuff and making potions and other thing other plants for making potions so Magic yeah plants have so much to offer i'm eager to learn more i'm glad herbology is a bounteous subject tend to your garden and it will tend to you huh. well i suppose that's everything do come by for a chat sometime i so enjoy checking in with my new students oh alrighty quest completed Noise. All right. Those mandrakes are really relishing their new pots. Only cost me my damned hearing. How's my uh, plan getting on? Four minutes. We must first okay, so we got a new quest available. Also, I am level twelve as well because I've been in the uh, dark forest, just roaming around, leveling up a little bit. So. Now, what we're going to do is look at our main quests. Okay, so po attend potion class, and the girl from that is to do with Natty, and that's outside of the castle. But we're gonna go to potion class first, because that's my. I think this is all the way down by Hogsmeade. So let's go potion class. <coughs> let's have a look at our map. Potion class is over here. Where's our closest re uh, fast travel? Will be here, I'm guessing. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, do I go up or down? That is the question. <laughs> Running, 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 we're running. Maybe Aura's or someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident. Rebellion. Professor Black with The hell was that? It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Alrighty, what else have we got in our thing anyway? Right, let's use that one for the moment, because we've only got two of those. So we'll keep those for when we're in a fight. Okay, so the next mission is Potions Class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. <clears throat> Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous.
I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. And we've made a healing potion. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing. And we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Oh. Okay. Uh, -doo 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 -doo. My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the Okay, so we need to collect eggs and fur, if I'm saying that right. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? You heard well, why do you want to know? Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single foop of feather. As you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission, perhaps you could grab it for me. Uh, I'm not sure it's a good idea. I can get... Uh, let's get it for him, I'll why not? A feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Foop of feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Okay. A well -prepared okay, so there's the eggs. Uh, Revelio. Is there anything else in there I should know about? Oh, there's a chest. Ooh. What do we get? No idea. 31st of December 1875. Uh... All right, so we got everything. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. This concoction is finished. Alrighty, uh, where's my table? Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Potion station unlocked. Okay, brew potions from unlocked recipes at the potion station. Recipes and ingredients can be purchased from select shops. Ingredients may also be grown and found in the wild. Okay, so we need this one here, and it takes 30 seconds to brew. So I'm guessing we just gotta wait. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Uh oh. Get it. Get it. Oh. Dragon dog. Fireworks. <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Uh oh. It wasn't me. I'm innocent. I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. 
I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Uh, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know what... I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry about that. Uh, let's go. I don't know what you mean. I'm not sure what you're talking about, Professor. You will not earn favour with me by failing to take responsibility for your actions. Damn it. I suggest you heed my warning. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was... Skeptical, given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. <clears throat> okay. Chibas has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Quest completed. Let's go. Okay, so now... Hey, we're level 13. We're gonna go and see Natty. If I'm right, dun, dun, dun. main quest. How are we doing for assignments? I haven't got any, and side quests, we've only got two. All right, so let's go and see Natty. Uh, ah, no, she's miles away. Damn it. Looks like we're going for a humongous run, people. Oh, my robes are going to reek from death. So once we can get out of uh, Hogwarts, we can reputation to you. literally sprint all the way there. A girl in our <laughs> <clears throat> oh, did I just see a squad? Yeah, I did indeed. Well, take you. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so we're outside. So let's speed up a little bit. Oh, wrong way. Follow this random line. Can I just go across that way? Oh, I see some sort of balloon thing. We'll stick to the path just in case. Speed up a little bit. Can we cut through? Looks intriguing. Indeed, very intriguing. 
Oh, I see some mushrooms. Definitely need the ingredients. That'll come in handy for when we're brewing potions. Alright, so we've got some side quests down here we need to do. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. <coughs> With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Uh, they want something I found I can't say. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona was an intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not <coughs> going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. This could be dangerous. I'm glad to hear it. This could be dangerous. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock... Well, all the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Halo is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. Okay, so Natty's off to do some investigation. Wait, what? what's going on here? Uh, okay. So, Natty's off to do some investigations. Uh, so we've got a couple of side quests here as well we need, uh, need to pick up. So let's quickly pick up some of these side quests. And then do our next. I never Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. I shall keep an eye out. Has this happened before? Are you a painter? I shall keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Well, we shall definitely get them. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. Okay, so let's go and grab some action. We need some action. Let's go grab these carts. 
After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. It's a bunny rabbit. Hello, bunny rabbit. How's it going? Uh, what is that? No idea. There's a question mark. Do I really want to go over there? No. We're just going to carry on going forward. It's a cow. Or a bison. Or... I'm on the right some, oh, it's a spider. Oh, he's dead. Nice. Not my fault you're a deadly great spider. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so we're coming up to the camp. An encampment. This must be it. Okay, I see one dude there. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Renrock's vision of goblins is to kill that fight in armor. Incendio. Uh oh. Nice. You, my friend, are dead. How many of you are there? Ow. Miss me. Whoa. Got him. Damn it. You Kaboom, you're dead. Not your best moment, I fear. All right, so there should be one more. Where is he? There's one more somewhere. Um. 
Incendio. Expelliarmus. Lumos. Revelio. Oh, he's right there. There we go. Something. Now to free Arn's carts. Do I put it on fire? Free the cars from the. Expelliarmus, Lumos, Incendium. Expelliarmus, Accio, Incendium. Nope. Because I have to go to the gates. Noob. Okay, so now we got to return back to that goblin dude. Fast travel. If you're here for my wares, on, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't, I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good and wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. It was typical. It was no trouble. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. That sounds wonderful. That's a little ex. Uh, that sounds a wonderful. What's a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Hey. Nice. Now I did see another uh, side quest somewhere over here. I think. Yeah, there is. So we'll pick up this side quest. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath, Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? An underwater adventure sounds like fun. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. Oh, damn. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. 
A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I'll have a, I'll have to think about it. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Northeast of the dock, so it's over there. Hmm. We'll save that for the next episode, yeah. Well, for our underwater adventure. So, what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to leave it there for this one. Really hope you all enjoyed it. Please do smash that like button, slap any comments down below, and press that great big red support button and notification bell for our next upload or go live. But until next time, peace out.